Hey everybody, welcome to the <laughs> episode of Ricker and Bond that is probably going to be your favorite. It was a great one. We talk about a lot of stuff up with the boondocks. We talk about Kanye and Kim, free my boy, yay. Get north off of TikTok. <laughs> we talk about uh, a lot of military stuff. Who would win in a war? Who would Amazon and Tesla help? Yeah, so all these questions and more answered in this week's episode. A lot of military stuff towards the end. I'm just me reading and looking at this. Who would Apple help? Apple would probably just like, I don't know, maybe they just... That's an interesting question, because Apple is like the U.S. stock market, but it's also deep in China. They made some... Oh, yeah, they are deep in China. Ooh. That's interesting. They'd have to pick some sides. But There'd probably be some halt of production somewhere, which could bring down U.S. production of phones, which could ruin everything. <laughs> Enjoy the episode. Yeah, damn. If you want to keep going, I will keep going tonight. What's up? Hello, hello, hello. I can't be the fucking clip. Y'all make me sick of this shit. Well, listen to me. Politics and girls, I'm like that, like that. Should be changed frequently for the same reason. Yo, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to listen to Rick Aaron Bond. Dude, we fine, man. Sometimes when you're not recording, you gotta record. No, no, that's not how it happened. This is how it happened. What race is that, man? He said on Hanukkah, maybe Jewish. He could still be black and Jewish, Drake. He sounds like Justin Timberlake. Mm. There's that tone in there. I heard him. I found him on TikTok. And he makes like comedy TikToks, but his music is like more serious. Uh-huh. And I heard him. I was like, bro. Remember I was making that show about the boy band? Mm-hmm. Bro, he could voice all of them. <laughs> Literally, all his music is like spot on with that. There's a there's a, a hot market for a boy band animation voice actor for musicians. Yeah. It could just be music, uh, musicians. Yeah, it could be. I feel like that wouldn't be a hard role to fill. His YouTube, his name, by the way, people listening to Ricker and Bonnie is Goodbye Noah. Good boy Fourth, Noah. Oh, good boy Noah. 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uploaded really? His, uploaded his own stuff basically up until like a year ago, it looks like. And then he's got some Vivo tag in the bottom left. And that all outperforms his other ones by like tens of thousands. I think, um, oh. yeah, he's not very, like, he's not super popular. I think he has 150 on TikTok. Um, Oh, TikTok. But he's fucking good. He's fucking good. I love uh, I love production quality that's like really amateur. But then like the music is like, holy shit, did you get this mixed and mastered by <laughs> the weekends people? What are you in? Freak Ocean Studio? Yeah, brother. Yeah. So he's a good, he's a good, he's a, he's a solid listen if you're into. If you're into that kind music. of jazz. If you're into that devil music. Yeah. Devil music. Unless you're not listening to good Hillsong United like a good Christian boy. Oh man, it's almost it's almost Sunday. I can't wait to go to church and get a little bit of the Holy Spirit. That's I can't wait I... to go to my mega church and tithe. <laughs> I can't wait to go to my mega church that is in a thirty million dollar <laughs> building with the, the pastor that gets paid two hundred grand a year. 
and I think Aaron seems low for his uh, a mega church pastor, Loki. Yeah, he's probably in the millions. To be honest, that kind of seems weird. A pastor <laughs> making millions, right? It's a little. It's like a tiny bit off brand. It's like, just like a little off putting. Yeah, like there's something in you that's like, hold on, what's going on here? Yeah, <laughs> you said three million. <laughs> Like maybe like two or one, but three. <laughs> Pastor Jeff, you say you just got back from Cancun. Interesting. 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 And, you're <laughs> your, and your mega yacht. Yeah. Property out there, you say. I just got home from my job at Subway. <laughs> we still like, you know, same Jesus and all that. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Interesting. <laughs> see, see you next you week. Know, actually, I feel like this was a thing. I feel like I vaguely remember. I went to a church once and like one of the guys or one of the pastors got like in trouble for like taking money. Ah, uh, yeah. Like illegally. Yeah. Like you're like, he was like taking tithing money and like spending them on stuff. Have you ever so he got seen fired. the show black Jesus? I've seen it. I don't really remember it though. It's by Aaron McGruder. Not maybe not Aaron McGruder. Might be the wrong name, but the guy who made uh, Boondocks. And yeah, one Aaron McGruder. One of the scenes is it's basically like a dude, and uh, <laughs> he's he's Jesus, but people don't know if he's like fake Jesus. It's, it's, he's done miracles a couple times, I think, but he's, you know he's just Jesusing around, and I think it, it's set in Compton. And, I didn't know Aaron McGruder made that. Oh yeah. Is he in it? Um, I don't think so. I don't know he's what Aaron like, looks like. But. He's like a pretty young guy, I think. Uh, let's see this, man. I've never actually seen him. No, he's not in it. McGruder is... McGruder. The D. 47. That's pretty old from the not, screenshots I'm looking at, dude. Not young. Not young. But yeah, he, he looks young as heck, dude. What I meant to say was I think he started the boondocks when he was young. Holy moly, he does not look. I mean, I guess he's 47, very, you kinda, he looks like he could be. This guy drinks his water. He looks like he could be <laughs> like my, my younger brother. He looks like he could be a cousin, dude. Jesus, 47. Dude. Yeah, this is. Oh, he went to ASU? Get out of here. I obviously need to get back into the comics. Dude. Because look at this. Look at this guy. He is. He He's is. on C spend, dude. He, he might be immortal. He might this be one of those guys who was born in like 1901. He shows Boondocks you a picture. Was a comic, right? I don't know. I think it was. Sonny re- Return of the Boondocks with creator Aaron McGruder. Is this newnewscomplex.com? It's June 2019. This guy it's started crazy the how He does not look like an age. You know that like people in their 50s, if they look young, they just look ageless. You're like, you don't, I don't know how old you're. You're either like 13 Look, he's, here's like an old. He looks like <laughs> I look at a picture of him. It's like a Twitter, Twitter generated picture on Google Images. He looks like he's. This could be a MySpace picture. He's probably like forty five in this picture. Boondocks are great, dude. No. Boondocks when he was twenty two. Wait, what? Yeah, came out. I guess twenty years ago, two thousand. Came out in ninety six. Ninety six. Dang, I was yeah. watching it. When was I watching it? But it was a comic strip first. Oh, really? Until, uh, it was a comic strip until 2005. It might still be a comic strip. Fire comic, dude. The show started in 2005 by Cartoon Network. 2005 to 2014. And there's Black Jesus 2014 and 2019. That's a long run for Black Jesus. I know this that guy long. is just like just doing it. I wonder where he lives. Well, he was born in Chicago, Illinois on a... Dark, dark, stormy day to parents. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Under personal life, as of 2013, McGruder is residing in Los Angeles. So that answers that. But that was also <laughs> almost 10 years ago. The sentence. <laughs> he's probably kicking it, dude. He's probably getting hella residuals off that on Cartoon Network. He's like one of those guys that's probably just like, I don't know. I don't know. If I had to imagine his life, he probably just draws all day. Yeah. It yeah, sounds he, like a really nice house and just draws like all day. It doesn't look like a spouse, at least publicly. He, you gotta keep your, you gotta keep your spouse like private. I bet he just Hollywood. watches anime and like goes to cool like screenings of his friend's shows. 
I wonder if he has any like a family, any kids. It's it crazy doesn't how seem like he does he have a Twitter or something? Um this guy like active? <laughs> is he is he publicly on the internet? Oh, Probably he's a, not a pro Trump kid. page. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh dude, this guy is just like low key under the radar. You're a dark thirty, man. Congrats. This is the way to do it. Like literally, really? he could probably go anywhere, and no one would know who the fuck he is. It's interesting because, especially now, most people <laughs> really lean on social media to make a a brand for themselves, and so it's like a, a, a gift and a curse. Where if you're you're using social media, hella 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 hella, hella then uh, it's hard to go like zero dark thirty and put your head down. Literally, this guy. Yeah, I don't. He's just getting Peabody Awards in 2006. Like, no one's ever talked to him. I've never seen a quote from the guy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just not funny, man. He's doing anything. If anyone knows what Aaron's up to, let us know. We could probably reach out and get him on the pod. Probably. I'm sure there's like a, like 10% of people that watch the Boondocks that, Boondocks that thought of that inquiry, but like, haven't done it. But he's just like there, like down. <laughs> I'm this sure he's, still, he's probably nuts. like. You think he's nuts? No, this IP. Oh, just like the image of the two boys is like. I feel like comic worthy. You, you don't need to like watch the show, but like they're recognizable. You know, beautiful characters. Very nice characters. Is that he drew it too? I think I read that. Uh, I believe so. Here we are talking about the Boondocks. The comics look a little different, a little bit, but they're still like anime. You know. Probably loves that anime. Probably just like is one of those anime nerds. And everyone's like, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? And he's like, you know what? Fuck you guys. I love this shit. I'm going to make a story about me and my little brother, I guess. This is just like, just I don't fucking know how I got the idea. I'm going to draw like anime. And it's going to be a fucking mirror to society. <laughs> about being black and wherever wherever the fuck they live in this suburb show. somewhere the suburbs of sh- chicago if i had to yeah, guess probably probably <laughs> i've never been to chicago never been to chicago been in north carolina i've been to mexico as a young boy i like been... mexico how was it i like no i just said i like it i went to like tijuana and like stay at a camp cold showers i actually don't remember that trip well at all i do remember there's a, a stop at like a carl's jr either on the way back or on the way there i don't remember crossing the border damn you don't remember switching families no, no, no. <laughs> I don't remember the handoff of my uh, biological your Mexican, Mexican mother. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gave the, uh, the handoff to good old Miss Ricker. No, I don't remember. Yeah. That's how you, it, your, your real name is Antonio Suarez. <laughs> I, I could, that could be, that'd be a good uh, little series or a movie. Well, maybe like a short. That would be a fucking good, like a, a kid that grows up in America thinking he's white. Yeah, yeah. But he's really just like Mexican as fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just doesn't know how to act in Mexico. He goes to Mexico and he finds his real mom, but like. Or he's just like down with it. He could be like, oh, what's up? Yeah. Or he's just like a super whitewashed Southern California kid in Mexico. His real mom is a. Uh, Drug lord. Disgusted that he doesn't know Spanish. Oh, okay. Real disappointed in him. Yeah, like horrible. So much so that she doesn't even want to see him. <laughs> does, the, does the Mexican mom like, what's her deal? Does she know already that? Did she make the handoff? Was it maybe a cartel mix up? She made the handoff because uh, she knew that she couldn't make it over the border safely. But she knew that her brother could take her son. That sounds so, a little less comedic than I had in mind. Oh, it's not a comedy. It's actually a dark, dark, it's, it's true story. <laughs> Horrible. It's, yeah, it's called it's called Tucson. The Adventures oh, of Tucson. Oh, dude, Tucson. Uh, a, a, dr- a, dram- uh, a dramatic, really low lit, dramatic series about Tucson would be lit. Speaking of Tucson, fucking uh, moving back, dude. You going back? All right, here we go. Let's go back, dude. Uh, what's his name? Been calling me from uh. 
Yeah, dude. Over, mate. Don't. Uh, I'm assuming who's calling you? Trenton. Yeah. Don't. This is in 2004, okay? You don't call someone and then text him like it's a pager saying, call me. Did he do that to you? At 1148. Last night, same. I, I was going to respond with a what's up. I was at a bar, like deep in conversation. On a couch. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of like, after, that's not really at office hours. <laughs> no, um, it's not. That's not. I guess it's like, maybe even if you're like out on the town, it's still like you're out on the town on a Friday night. Or like yeah. tired. It's midnight. What do you do? I don't know. Hit did me you, like the Did you day. follow up and, nah. and inquire? He actually texted me like a week ago and he was like, felt like he was writing a paper or something about, I don't know what it was about, but he asked me to like write it for him and he said, name your price. And I didn't respond. Did you get a message of that uh, caliber? No, just, just calls and, and call me. I haven't, I haven't interacted with the inquiry yet. Yeah. Well, I hope he's okay, but just do your homework. and. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not going to give you my biology paper. Okay. I'm not going to like. I did. Yeah. I studied all night for this test. Yeah. There's a, a kid that was older than me in uh, my siblings high school. He died in a fire. And <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was took a, that took a left turn. <laughs> I, was, I was out of the blue. <laughs> I was having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he was having a good time too. Uh, and he, he, I was, he, he made music and I was watching like clips of his music and he has a younger brother and I kind of went down, uh, uh, I stalked his younger he brother. Drowned? No, no, still alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> actually quite thriving is what oh. was pretty interesting. Actually, man, just like a designer who oh, worked nice. at like, he, like deep in square and lift. And I was like, oh, dude, sick. I didn't know him really, but I was like, yo, I don't know why so when you had a dead brother of, in the fire, you're doing well for yourself. I don't know why I immediately thought of fashion designer when you said that. Uh, that's a, that's a, you know, I think a lot of people, say, if you say designer, you might first think of fashion. I was looking up um, Kim and Kanye. What were we talking about? Kim and Kanye. Kim and Kanye. Okay, so it's been it's been uh, uh, the battle of the exes. I'm Team Kanye all the way, but now, so last I checked, they were like beefing over not being able to go to or Kanye not being invited to his daughter's birthday party. Now, Kanye is very against his daughter Northwest, who is like eight or something, being on TikTok, which you have to be 13 to be on, yeah. <clears throat> right? And Kim Kardashian lets her daughter on TikTok and they are publicly beefing on Instagram about whether or not um, their daughter should be on TikTok. Goodness, golly gracious. Yes. This is what so, happens when you get caught up in the Kardashian war pool, Mr. West. The only victim here is the child, I must add. Dude, in my opinion. old, bro. Like, yeah, kid, they're, they're just like they're growing up. I was watching, I was watching basketball yesterday, and I was like, "Dude, I'm fucking old. All these guys look young as shit." But then I realized yeah. that it was college ball. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I mean, like, okay, I still got a few years. There's young kids in in the big leagues, dude. And I was like, "Dude, nobody Mahomes has a beard." 22, what the fuck? bro. I think Mahomes is 22. Kids been Damn. to like four Super Bowls. Damn, oh. getting old. <laughs> For still real. young though. I, I was actually watching a, a high school soccer. It was, it was cool. <laughs> high school soccer. <laughs> so yeah, what are your what are your thoughts? Should Northwest be on TikTok? Oh boy, let me talk about this man's kid. First things, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, that sucks, but I guess you have to go through like a divorce court and then like legally bind your kids to either not go on social media or not. Or like if she's with the mom, then she can go on social media. I'm not sure how that works. Um, I think they might be 
you want some custody stuff? Yeah, like it's, I don't, I don't know how that works. If like from a legal custody perspective, if you can stop a kid from going on social media, or the courts are like, "Yo, you guys are the parents, <laughs> freaking, yeah, freaking try to work it out, you, you nerds." Uh dang. I don't think it's. I mean, it could get messy. Like, what if one of them does like, "Yo, you can't see your own kids." then you kind of need a judge to be like, okay, that's not cool. Yeah. I, I think there's some probably precedent of like a, a parent keeping a kid from another parent. I hope, I hope, oh man, I hope the uh, Kardashians weren't like in court and they're like, yo, this guy's mentally ill. So he shouldn't have kids. You know, they are. Man. You know they are. <laughs> they're, they're, they're daughters of lawyers. <laughs> Bro, you know they're a they famous are. lawyer. So Kanye said something like when he uh came to the party, he had uh security had to check him before he played with his own son. And after he had to take a drug test because this is according to him, Kim Kardashian said that he was on drugs when he came to the party. So kind of seems it, like uh it could be also like pharmaceutical crazy pill drugs yeah or like i don't know because i think mr west does have a history of stuff so yeah it, it, uh, he is painting a maybe maybe i'm on a biased perspective but he is uh, seemingly in the uh in the person to root for camp i feel like a lot of people are kind of against the kardashian side maybe i'm wrong yeah free my boy yay but see, that's what the sentiment kind of feels like in, in the media. Yeah. I don't she know. Did, maybe she did, maybe retort, Kanye's... she did retort with, uh, I thought I saw a headline about, he's like not good at co-parenting. Yeah. Oh, I don't, that's I don't why know. you, you got to pick your mates well. Just because you got a big butt. I'm sure she's mean. cool, dude. She's probably fine. I think they just want different things. Like he's always in like yeah. fucking Wyoming or some shit. Yeah, that's also what I think. Like, I, I think a, a little bit, maybe it's 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 ramped up a little bit, but it's probably a little more like normal people ish. And like Kardashian is just all about public limelight, and Kanye is not. But when you're divorced and celebrities and have a lot of kids, that gets really messy. Yeah. Also, Kanye's like, you know, I don't need the paparazzi for my career to like continue. So like, Kim Kardashian kind of needs that. Well, that's not true. She has a lot of businesses now, but yeah, still, but like she needs to stay relevant for those businesses part to make money. Brand, yeah. Kim Kardashian broke her silence after weeks of her ex Kanye West making comments about her and her parenting in interviews on social media. <laughs> he, she did. He did go very public with it. He was like, "Yo, you ain't gonna even my kid. I'm gonna hit those headlines, baby." It's gonna be a great Oprah interview for with both of them. I just oh hope god, this would be great. Like, I just, I just wanted healthy people. I just, Kardashian's Kanye. I, just want my, I just want justice for my boy yay Kardashian's breaking point was West posting an Instagram asking how to get their oldest daughter <laughs> West who has a joint TikTok account with Kardashian off the platform so that's a little different I, I kind of assumed like it's just a kid posting her own content which kind of was naive because they have a social media empire <laughs> there was an instance where her daughter went live Ooh, I don't like without that without walking around like the that. house no, uh, like that yeah see that's a it, it's it's especially from like a father to a daughter perspective I, I was actually i was i saw a dude and he has a daughter and i was he's was hold, holding his daughter's hand <clears throat> as they're like just going through the city crossing the street and i was thinking as like if you're a father do you hold your daughter's hand because you're like someone can like snatch my kid right now do you hold is that is that why you hold a hand? Yeah. Or it's like in the back of your mind. You're like someone or just because are you talking about in general or just because you're crossing the street? Uh, in general, you're, you're walking on the sidewalk, waiting, waiting, waiting to cross the street. You hold your daughter's hand because like, yo, someone could swoop in, grab this chick. If I had, if I had a daughter and I were in that position, I would be holding my daughter's hand because you never know what kids could do. What if she just runs into the street? Well, I didn't raise a fucking dunce, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and also, kids walk slow. Fucking come on. We're going to be late. God damn it. You're walking I, all slow I have, for I have a very fast gait. 
Uh, My gate is that, very fast. I've at that point, just like pick it, pick up the kit. But I was thinking, I was like, is this is like you're around like you're in like New York, dude? You're holding your daughter's hand because someone could go swoop this kid up right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, oh, how old's the kid? I need some reference here. Five. Five. Oh, easily you got to hold a kid's hand. Yeah. Easily. They're so fucking I mean, slow. This, Let's this, go. No, I'm talking Jesus about security. Christ. But this is a New York population in the streets. But Imagine losing your kid. Yeah. There's a I register. feel like that'd be worse than, like, killing your kid accidentally. Yeah. Because at least you know your kid is dead. Like, you fucking leave the pool gate open and it's just floating there. It's like, oh, there's confirmation. Yeah. Like, probably your fault for not putting the kid in swimming lessons. But well, also, I, I like... Cut, cut and dry, you know? If your kid is lost... You're just like, dude, I don't know if the kid's dead. I don't know if it's alive. Like that sucks. It could, could yeah, be no. across the border. Be and then like thing. your entire life, you're just like, oh, little little Jimmy would have been seventeen today. <laughs> but just held their hand. Yeah. That, just put some air tags in there in the diaper. <laughs> you could do that. You could do that. <laughs> That's actually a lot. Like, you know, people were tracking their people, but then you know, Apple innovating over here, you have a little little tiny ML. Anyways, uh, wait, wait, go ahead. I was gonna say, would you track a, your child? Uh, I'd put a, I'd put a tag in a backpack. Tag in their backpack. Yeah. And if they find it, I'd be like, all right, I'll take it out. But yeah, like, you know, probably. like, it, it sucks to, as a parent. Like, even like a older kid, like going out. Usually, like, it's like the unknown part of like, dang, dude, this kid could be like doing dumb stuff. I, I think we might be getting, we might be going into a world where like tracking your kids is normal. And it's just expected. You got to find, find my friends and stuff. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people who did track their kids, track their kids now. My mom used to tell me to put it on and I used to give her a hard time about it. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if like, you make a, if you make a nice cool parent app where it's like cool to have your, <laughs> the cool parent app. Uh, one of the, one of the, uh, this, this this brother of a person I don't know who I was uh, stalking his online profiles is uh, one of the, the thing is he's designing for is like a calendar app messaging service for high school kids. Mm-hmm. So it's like an app service, but like it like has a calendar of like high school stuff. Hmm. So kids can just like see what what class their homies are in tell racist jokes in the app. Hey man, hey man, hey man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like yo, Mr. Johnson. So it's weird. One time I went on the, it's actually, it's kind of dark now. I went on, I went on Reddit one time with a guy who is not dead uh, and was talking about the class we were in. Brian Ferry? <laughs> not Brian Fick. Free my, free my boy. Call back, dude. Hold free on. bro, bro. I don't do this a lot. <laughs> That's gonna be a B to edit. Laughing over a dead guy. That's not. It's not cool. I mean, I, I was. My sibling was like. Uh, <laughs> I made a uh, uh, Holocaust a, a light joke in 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 light of the Holocaust. They were reading a uh, a book, and uh, they were talking about the tattoos that Nazis gave to Jewish people, and I'm I'm probably sure other races. Uh, but I was like, hey, free tattoo. And then they were like, hey, why do you make fun of dark real matter? <laughs> and they're like, you should probably, you know, think about that a little bit. I'm like, yeah. Damn. Now I'm reading that Drake has been smashing Kim Kardashian. Kanye's girl. Oh, Rihanna Preggy, dude. Didn't talk Rihanna about Preggy, dude. So like, so... The only girl Drake probably hasn't smashed is Rihanna. I mean, maybe smash it. To be honest. Perhaps not. For but. sure, Drake was smashing Kylie. And, like, I guess Travis just has to be cool with that. Because <laughs> it's Drake. <laughs> Rihanna pregnant, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. You know, like my grandpa cool. always said, money looks in game. If you're going to have one, make a game. ASAP Maki, Rocky is two things looks and game also money but less than her rihanna rihanna Probably way less than her 
Let me see. Oh, new lipstick expansion with Fenty. Come on now. What's up with it? Damn, ASAP Rocky is literally living in poverty compared to Rihanna. <laughs> What's he got? 300 mil? 10 million. Whoa, what are we doing? <laughs> Bro, you've been around for a decade, dog. What have you been up to? When there's a couple 20 year old kids. <laughs> Jesus. Oh God! They better get a prenup, bro. He's gonna get that child support, bro. It says his net worth is ten million. It's yeah, ten million, dude. What the fuck? Rihanna's at one point seven billion, dude. What the, Rihanna? Dog. Can I, can I get some comps here? What he are was, uh, he was hitting it right, dude? What's uh, what's a what's a just net? What's just in that? If I had to guess, three hundred. Justin Bieber net worth two eighty five, and Rocky is ten mil, dude. Yeah, Where, I mean, what's Justin Bieber get a salary from? CelebrityNetWorth.com. Let me see a uh, scooter. <laughs> Ron, two mil. It's probably close. Four hundred, four hundred million. Yeah. So uh, let me see. Drake said that his network on Google's. Not right. I'm just going to Google it anyway. According to wealthygorilla.com, it's worth $180 million. Wow, this is a great blog idea. You've had this idea before. We've talked about it. T- talking about celebrity net worth? Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is uh, quite the outsourceable thing, though. Um, Let's just buy someone's blog. Yeah, that's true. And just put some ads on it. Like I said before, the uh, the new millionaire with future worth of money as it, as it is now is kind of. I think it might be three hundred million. It, it's the the salary of like basketball players is is like a millionaire now. Because a millionaire when everyone would be a millionaire is in the past, in like nineteen oh five. 300 million? I think that's a lot. I was going to say I was going to say 10 million is the new millionaire. Could be that as well. <laughs> 300 be. million is pretty hard to get to. Uh what's the I feel like 10 million is pretty achievable. Uh what's LeBron's NBA salary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wrong. Uh yeah, about, you know, 30 million, 40 million is kind of like the new 1 million. If you live in uh, Silicon Valley. If you oh, Rihanna, a million, dude. you're really poor. Kill it, dude. Rihanna. I hope it's a boy. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Just because I think Rihanna would be a cool boy mom. What's with all these people having children out of wedlock? <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> uh, it is a. It is a thing. Disgusting. Let's keep these families together. Yeah, this this is a funny picture. Actually, they're, they're both wealthy, so it might not even matter. I mean, it's a. I mean, Kanye. If they, were, if they were poor, Kanye didn't wedlock, sir. Huh? Kanye didn't wedlock. Kanye did do it in one lock. But yeah, Kanye, she, she, Kanye she, 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 married a, a a white woman, not white. What is she? Armenian. Looks white. <laughs> Looks fine as hell. Kim Kardashian. Is the statistics any different for same colored people? Hmm? Are statistics different for same colored people? Are you just saying it like anecdotally? I'm just saying anecdotally. Generally, if like the Is police were to Kanye pull her over. Married a she looks Mexican, dark. actually. Who? Kim Kardashian. I mean, she's Armenian. <laughs> In this picture, she has one of those... Uh, you know those shirts that go down to the shoulder? I feel like that's a very Latin, Latin looking thing. Damn, how do you fumble that bag? But also, I don't know. Dude. Also, she's probably like mad annoying. They're probably both very annoying partners. Yeah, they're probably just awful. Or maybe they're like, I don't know. You think their kids just hate them? No. Like, why did you have us? Why did you have to be smashing so much? Maybe they were a bit normal. They just had different views on parenting. Maybe they're as normal as ever. It's just the media paints them like zoo animals, so we <laughs> think they're not normal. It's probably that. There's probably a little bit of difference, maybe. 
No, what if they literally just kind people? <laughs> <laughs> what if all these celebrities are literally just people working, worrying about their bottom line and families? Oh, it is. But they, uh, you know, money to, money to power, power to money. There's a new Kanye West documentary, apparently, called Genius. I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> Directed, produced. I'm a big part of Kanye West's journey as a rock star producer into very popular rap star. Directed by Clarence Cootie Simmons and Chiki Oza, a.k.a. Cootie and Chiki. Chiki? Who worked with West, now legally known as Way, on his Through the Wire visual as well as his third version of the Jesus Walks video. Classic video. Watch it on MTV frequently. The film has been in the making for over two decades. That's going to be dope. I might, I might watch this, watch this. Any cool documentaries you've been watching? I just watched the Firefest documentary. Yeah? I don't think I can watch that. That's pretty interesting. It just seemed like a disaster from the start. Give me a summary in two sentences. Guy. So I didn't know this part. So Fire was an app oh, yeah. for booking hot talent. Top right. Two. And they're like, like, like hot talent for like shows, like our musicians. And they're like, let's have a festival to promote the app. Good idea. So they had a, an idea like, yo, we're going to put it in the fucking Bahamas. It's going to be lit. It's going to be super expensive, super exclusive. So they filmed a bunch of promo for it. But the issue was like the biggest issue from the start was like, it's on the beach. You get a lot of power for a concert, like a lot of power. So I don't know like how they're going to do that. It was incredibly expensive. So anyway, shit just didn't like go down. Um, a lot of people like bought tickets, but like it just wasn't enough money to like make it like an actual show. And so the, the, I got a great idea and I got to get it out now. A yeah. lot of power to make a concert. You, you make a, 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 a venue concert tour, go all across, you know, the States. Also a freaking Bitcoin miner. You mine with that electricity, pay out to some people playing at the concert. Sick idea. Hmm. Continue fire concert. Hmm. What? <laughs> yeah. Where's the power concert. coming from? Wherever you get power from concerts, you know you're you're already getting a lot of power for lights. You might as well have a Bitcoin miner in the in the, in the stash. Okay, you need a really big cable like the size of a fire hose. I think it all goes really in the big... truck, dude. It's, it's like a WWE production truck. Yeah. Oh God. You need like I don't know. Get a big ass generator. So yeah, so that was that was an issue. So anyway, people were buying tickets to it. It wasn't enough money to make it fucking like a real thing. So people like actually flew out there and there was like no place to stay and there's like no food and they were like trapped. This is way more than two sentences. Yeah, but like the this was the interesting part. So this is why the guy went to jail. Okay. So he was like uh, he was really good at he was an entrepreneur. He was really good at getting money from investors so he would fly back and forth and just like come back with like more money more money more money and ja rule was his partner and ja rule was like dude how do you get all this fucking money bro like jesus christ what he was doing was he was faking his numbers when he would show them to investors like he was saying that his company was like making money when it wasn't so that would give him confidence to give him more capital and that's super illegal so he was sentenced like six years in jail suck it weenie yeah, so, uh, yeah. Facebook uh, lost daily users for the first time ever last quarter. Good, dude. What the fuck wants to go on Facebook? That's crazy. Everybody has a Facebook already. Like, there's no more people to make a Facebook, so. That's crazy. I mean, from 2000, what, 2008 start, you get your net positive daily users pretty great when did facebook start yeah four that is wild it's old there's also there's probably a nice nice chart of daily active users for facebook that you could plot out a little bit since its inception facebook user growth has essentially been up but on wednesday it reported its first ever quarterly decline of daily users globally along with lower than expected ad growth apple <laughs> freaking 
Sick, dude. Half of this fucking up. That sent its stock plunging roughly 20%. The massive stock drop, which instantly wiped out roughly $200 billion in market value, shows that Facebook's corporate rebrand to Meta is enough to distract investors from the problem in its core business of social media. Damn, gotta go hard on that Meta. Not only was user growth across Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp essentially flat last quarter, but the main Facebook app lost 1 million daily users in North America where it makes the most of its money through advertising. Damn. The drop of 1.929 billion daily users for 1.93. The prior quarter is likely a reflection of Facebook's increasing lack of relevance with young people, perhaps the verge. Meta doesn't break out Instagram's user numbers, but daily users across all of its app barely nudged higher to 2.82, adding just 10 million users from the third quarter. It sounds like this social media business, Facebook, isn't growing. It sounds like you probably knew that, and you're like, yo, we're going to make so much VR, and then you guys are going to come back to us, and then we'll sell ads. Dude, Facebook, what are you going to do, Mark? Still wildly profitable, made nearly $40 billion in profit last year alone, mostly from advertising. What do you do when it's just like just unlimited money? Like, you just become numb to it? You got it. You got it. Well, you have to exponentially grow or else people don't give you money. Do you think, when was the last time Mark Zuckerberg was like, damn, that's a lot of money? When he was like, <laughs> <laughs> when he was like 20? Uh, maybe. maybe What's the last even- time Jeff Bezos was like... This is a lot of fucking money. It might be in those the secret actual rich, rich people in the world meetings and be like, oh, dang, dude, you got it, got it. I feel like if you like look at like $300 billion and then you see like $600 billion, you're just like, yeah. You but if you the, go from like 1000 to like, like actually fucking, uh, what's his name? Floyd Mayweather said that. He said it was a better feeling going from nothing to 100000 than from like a million to like 50 million or something like because it was like he had nothing at first so maybe your first hundred thousand your first million is just like because that kind of like for at least for me that like shatters like yeah the fucking perception oh a hundred thousand dollars a year is like a lot mm-hmm. and then you just, just make the, that one by the act like, of achieving <laughs> it's like oh okay now what are the limits What's something analogous to that? Probably getting pussy for the first time. Versus getting pussy for the 15th time. Probably. Yeah. So money, sex. (laughs) What's the other thing? Probably. Probably getting. (laughs) I don't know. I was going to say like. I was going to say getting pussy from the first time from a random person, getting pussy from the first time from someone that loves you, but it's the same to me. <laughs> still sex, still sex. Um, still fucking. Yeah. Reality Labs, apparently Meta owns, is the division responsible for the Quest VR headset, VR software, forthcoming AR glasses. How forthcoming are the AR glasses? Meta? I want them now. I wasn't very, I wasn't forthcoming with me. I didn't really know and other metaverse-related initiatives, a.k.a. the internet. The meta did just rebranded the internet, the rascals. They said everybody, and everybody got on board with it, too. That's what kind of uh, does my spidey sense. Every company is like, yeah, metaverse, we're all okay with now using that as the word. People said that before, though. But all these companies... Facebook comes out like, yo, we're going to metaverse stuff. When when has anybody besides people that were into geeky stuff, even ge- geeks weren't saying metaverse. Yeah, they were. Before Facebook branded themselves as meta, people were, layman people were talking about metaverse. Well, not layman people, but even you and I were talking about the metaverse before Facebook was. Like people that are like into this stuff. Like the Not average, like the average person, like, like, like 2018, we're talking about metaverse. Bro, I was word. Maybe you weren't. I was watching Ted talks about it for a while. Sure. 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 But like, I knew, I knew Facebook was going to go in this direction. I've known that for a couple of years. I didn't think they were going to change their name. That was surprising to me, 
but I knew I was like, okay, like they got to like pivot. Whenever I swim the first time I saw that video that from a couple of years ago of Mark Zuckerberg walking down the aisle and a bunch of people had VR headsets on, I was like, okay, this is like trying to turn into a VR God. Air Force taps Clearview AI to research face identifying augmented reality glasses. Whenever the military taps a company is always interesting. Uh, yo, can we get some data, please? <laughs> That's a very low reward. Air Force Research Laboratory awarded Clearview $49,000 to research augmented reality glasses that could scan faces to help with security on bases. Hmm. Air Force. I've heard of Clearview before somewhere. Airport? Is that what it is? TSA? Yeah. Huh. It's the eye scan and shit. Everybody afraid. Everybody afraid of face scanning until they fucking open up TikTok and put a filter on their face and send it straight to the Chinese government in a nice little PDF file. But it's just so addicting. But it's just so cute. And the user base. The user base. It just goes straight. There's so many users. Organic. That's interesting. Clearview in the Air Force. What's up with these? Uh, Facebook. What's, what are we doing? Facebook. Um, U.S. deploying some troops to Ukraine. 2,000, 3,000 folks. Because Russia is like, yo, dude, Ukraine, what are we doing? And China's like, yo, dude, Taiwan. Taiwan is basically the thing to watch with China. I want this forever. Ain't no Taiwan goes, ever. And, Ch- and China's like, yo, Taiwan's us. Then USA is going to have to be like, do we have to do something here? If we don't do something, people will look weak. But we also might not have the advantage in the Southern Asian Sea. You know. Hmm. Dead fish in Atlantic prompts French inquiry. This is just Taiwan news. What's up with all the dead fish, dude? I'm just reading French news. France's maritime minister has ordered an investigation into possible violation of fishing practices after an environmental group released video of massive swarm of dead fish. It's by a huge trawler in the Atlantic Ocean off France. Hmm. He's killing all the fish. He's killing all the dolphins. The Japanese, according to South Park. <sighs> what else you got? Not much. What are you doing today? Eating, running, reading. Probably some videos. Oops. Running. Yeah, dude. My freaking. Hey, you know, my, my hips tight when I run. You got to get your hips tight? No, no. My hips are tight when they're on my right hip. Oh. I run on the weekends now. I'm up to like six miles. Hmm. Yeah. Damn, that's a lot. I can't. I haven't done that before. I only do three. It's pretty easy. I like never ran before. And then you just run more. (laughs) Dude, the hip thing though. I got to like stretch that joint. Up to 5.5 miles. I'll probably run six today. But my average pace is like nine a mile. And it deteriorates with every mile. Damn. Yeah. You going to the Winter Olympics, dude? Can you use some digital yawn? Yeah, dude. My fucking flight's about to leave. Apparently, Russia can't be called Russia in the, in the Olympics. They have to do something else because they were steroiding their... I think they're gymnasts. <laughs> so why are they even in the Olympics? I, I was trying to uh, remember when there's Cold War stuff happening. There's uh, the Olympics was a very interesting time because they still had like like I think Russia and the U.S. was like war war time. <laughs> maybe it was a maybe not a hot bloody war but Cold War. Um, I think they were hawking hockey each other. Still the Olympics. I mean, Olympics. We all got to play nice during the Olympics, dude. Mm-hmm. It's like that's like the one ruling body of of the world is the Olympics. <laughs> Fourteen hours ago, Reuters Taiwan condemns contemptible timing of China Russia partnership. What is this partnership, eh? China and Russia at a meeting of their leaders hours before the Winter Olympics officially opened. See Olympics, dude. It all goes back to the Olympics. 
backed each other over standoffs on Ukraine and Taiwan. What? With a promise to collaborate more against the West? Talk about allies. We were just talking about 30 minutes ago. Russia voiced its support for China's stance that democratically governed Taiwan isn't in a China has just a hard on for Taiwan, dude. That's like one of the things they love. They're like, yo, China is Taiwan. And if anybody says anything different, we're going to go hard for Taiwan. So is Taiwanese food incorrect? Should I say uh, Chinese food? Uh, have you seen Taiwanese food? Yeah. It's probably correct. It's an island. There's certain places in China, like Hong Kong, that are governed differently than the other places of China. And Taiwan, I think, has declared itself like not China, but like they haven't done enough or other people haven't done enough where like China still has like, like, all right, you can, but we still control you. And if anyone does anything with that, they're like, yo, we are going to take all of the AI we've been hiding in the basement and put it on your monkey asses, dude. Hmm. Russia voiced its support for China stands that democratically governed Taiwan is an inalienable part of China in opposition to any form of independence for the island. Taiwan's foreign ministry said China's continued false claims the island is part of the People's Republic of China were exactly the same as the country's habit of spreading fake news. It not only increases the Taiwanese people's disgust at loathing for the Chinese government's arrogance and bullying, it also clearly shows all the world's country. Who says this? You're not going to attribute this quote? Taiwan, dude. The pivotal point of China. What are you looking at? Uh, I was looking at my lease. Um, uh, you, U.S. troops in Poland too. What's going on here? I want to go to China. I do kind of want to go to China. I need to get out. Where would you go? Hong Kong. Oh, I said I said China. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Fucking. The, just the best part. I go to the the farmland in China. Just work on a farm, raise some cattle. People were starving on those farms like fifty years ago. I'll be starving on that farm today. <laughs> you think I won't do it? I will. U.S. troops reinforcing NATO allies in Eastern Europe amid a Russian military buildup on Ukraine's border arrived on Saturday. Just today, at Rizzo military base in southern southeastern Poland. Oh, things are getting low. Things are getting a little military, dude. Maybe that's why I pulled out of Afghanistan. They're like, yo. Hmm. Things are building up over there. Small plane carrying what a Polish military source said where U.S. chain of command personnel landed. First element of the brigade battle group from the 82nd Airborne Division of the United States Army has have arrived in Poland, says Polish military spokesperson. Reuters has a nice website. The design is very sleek. Okay, until you go to the headline, the homepage. Right. There's no shadows. It looks like an iPhone news. Hmm. All right, pal. Let's wrap it up. Thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> wrap it before you tap it. Bye-bye. Bye. Cold, cold clothes. Cold clothes.